Hello, my name is Greg, and today I'm going to give you my best picture algorithm. This has accurately predicted the 25 of the last 27 best picture winners. It has been 100% perfect this century, especially during the preferential ballot system. Um, and that is what our balance system is where the K members are told to rank the films from best to worst versus just picking one winner. So there are six questions that I have developed. The first two are worth two points apiece. Uh, questions three through six are worth one point apiece. So question number one is, did the film win the Producers Guild, Directors Guild, or Writers Guild of America Award for Original or Adapted. Question number two is, did the film win at least two major Guild Awards? We're talking about the Producers Guild, Directors Guild, Screen Actors Guild, the Ensemble and the Four Acting Awards, the Writers Guild, Original or Adapted, or the Editors Guild, which is for which they're divided between drama and comedy and musical. <sighs> Question number three is did the film win um, the Producers Guild, Directors Guild, and Screen Actors Guild Best Ensemble Award? I call that the Triple Crown. Question number four is did the film get nominated for the Producers Guild, Directors Guild, and Screen Actors Guild uh, Best Ensemble Award? Question number five is, did the film get nominated for writing, directing, and editing at the Oscars? And question number six is, did the film score any acting nominations at the Oscars? So if it has at least one, then it's, then it's, then you're good. Okay, so let's do an uh, example of... Uh, one that won outright without going into any tiebreaker. So the first big one is let's talk about the Moonlight versus La La Land thing. Now this was, now La La Land was pretty much everybody was, was predicting it to win. Um, Moonlight, Moonlight was sort of the shocker. But this formula actually predicted Moonlight to win. So let's just go through it. Okay, so uh, La La Land won the Producers Guild, the Directors Guild, the SAG Award for Best Actress, and and the Ace for Comedy and Musicals. The uh, the uh, the editors won, um, and it was nominated for um, all of the major guilds except for SAG Ensemble. And it was at the Oscars, it was nominated for two acting awards, and it was up for directing, writing, and editing. Okay? So the only thing that La La Land was missing, okay, was the SAG Ensemble. Moonlight, <coughs> Moonlight won the SAG Best Supporting Actor Award, and it won the Writers Guild of America Award for Best Original. It was nominated for um, all. It was nominated for the uh, Triple Crown, um, the Producers Guild, Directors Guild, and Screen Actors Guild Award. It was nominated at the Oscars for two acting awards and for directing, writing, and editing. So that was an example where it, it clicked all, it won straight out. And the big difference between the two was that La La Land did not get the ensemble nomination and Moonlight did. Now let's do an example of one that went through a tiebreaker mode. All right, so let's do Spotlight versus The Big Short in 2015 or 2016 in that year. Um, so... What you saw was that Spotlight won the Screen Actors Guild Best Ensemble Award, and it won the Writers Guild Award for uh, Best Original Screenplay. The Big Short, uh, the, the the Big Short, 
won the P Producers Guild Award, and it won the Writers Guild Award for Best Adapted Screenplay, and also won the Ace Award for um, Best Comedy, Best Edited Comedy in Comedy or uh, or a Musical. Um, and so uh, both of those, um, both of those had the most points if you go through all. Now, let's go through the tiebreaker questions, okay? So first tiebreaker is, did it win the Producers Guild, Directors Guild, or Screen Actors Guild Best Ensemble Award? So in that in case, both of them would be a yes. Uh, Producers Guild for Big Short, um, Ensemble for Spotlight. Um, second question was, which, which one got nominated for the most major Oscar nominations. So we are talking about um, directing, writing, editing, and acting awards. Um, and the Big Short was nominated for picture, uh, sorry, picture, director, writing, editing, and one acting award for uh, Christian Bale. Spotlight was nominated for director, writing, editing, and two acting awards. So that movie won on the second tiebreaker. Now, the third tiebreaker, if we go that deep, it looks at the major critic circle prizes. So there are five of them that could possibly be there. So you have the National Board of Review, the National Society of Film Critics, we have the LA Film Critics, we have the New York Film Critics, and we have the Critics' Choice Award. The, the year where it went down to the third one was in 2004, and that was between, at, uh, between The Aviator and Million Dollar Baby. And that one went down to Million Dollar Baby won it on the, on the last one. So please let me know what you think of the formula. Um, I wanted to do this before the Producers Guild and the Screen Actors Guild Award. Uh, just so you know, I'm not like cooking the books this year or something like that. But it's pretty good. Uh, it's only been wrong twice. Um, 1995, it, it, the formula spit out Apollo 13 and over Braveheart. And... 1997, it spit out LA Confidential um, over Titanic. But other than that, it's been dead on. It's been absolutely dead on. And uh, you could also look at which film won the most Guild Awards, that major Guild Awards that season. That has also been accurate. If you go back down to 1989, when the Producers Guild Award started. The Directors Guild started in 1948, I believe. Screen Actors Guild Best Ensemble started in 1995. Um, if you look at the ones that got the most, that has been accurate about 85% of the time. Um, so that's a good indicator, but, my, but the one that I developed is also good. So that's the two things. You gotta look at who won the major Guild Awards, the most major Guild Awards, and you gotta look at the writing, directing, editing award, and, and acting award. And yeah, and they also pretty much have to get nominated for the Screen Actors Guild and the Directors Guild Award um, too. So that is my formula. Let me know what you think. Thank you, and have a great day, everybody.